Yo, yo, what's hood? Yo, gaming with space, man. How everybody doing, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo. Man, I think I got one for y'all. Going through my car list and said, dang. I ain't never finished with this uh, avalanche. I was just doing a little something to it. No big. I put the tent on it and the wheel. Uh, a little toe hitch. I mean, it wasn't nothing too major. But this was my first time. This was like, I ain't gonna say one of my first cars, but this was when I was using the uh, add-on DLC maker, I think it's called. You know, using that. Let me show you. Using that. <clears throat> you, when you go here to the vehicle mod. Let's see. I want to make it faster. Oh, man. Hold on. I can't make it faster. Let me, the brakes. Can't do anything to the brakes, never? The transmission? Oh man, the suspension, the horn, I can't do nothing of that. Maybe I want to change the wheels on it. Uh, put some of the aftermarket B spokes. Dang. Man, I can't do nothing of that to it. Well, even if I could attend it, I won't be attending just because of the fact that I did that in Z model. Attending in Z model. See, now, I can't even see out this motherfucker. That'd have to be feeling Z modeler. I would have to go back in Z modeler and uh, put the clear glad back on it. But finding this truck in my game and then not working as far as I can't do nothing to it. It is what it is. Oh, well, just hold pulling. I can't do nothing to it. It is what it is, right? We're gonna say to be right here. Say it right here so we'll spun back in here in this car. Finna show y'all how to, uh, if you got cars in your game that ain't working, as far as you want to be able to upgrade the motor and change the wheels, tend and all that. I'm finna show y'all how to make that work. Y'all stick with me. Make sure y'all hit that like, subscribe, and comment. Make sure y'all ring that bell for all notifications. And I'll see y'all when we get out the game. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Alright, let me make sure we recording. Yeah, we're recording. Alright, back out of the game. So... The avalanche didn't work. We're gonna go uh, over here to our open IV. Double left click that. We open it up. <coughs> ba -ba 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 -ba. I hate it. Um, I'm gonna hit edit mode. Mm. I'm gonna go to mods update x64 dlc packs I'll look for that damn avalanche and there it is boom dlc <coughs> now i don't have a problem with none of the handling or uh, any of that so matter of fact let's go back and i'm gonna keep it the same name so i'm gonna uh, Double left click. Matter of fact, I ain't gonna do that. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna rename so it can highlight blue. Right click, copy. Come to my desktop. Right click, new folder. Then I'm gonna right click, paste. Got the name of the uh of the vehicle. I'm gonna open it up, open up the vehicle, open IV, DLC, the RPL, comment, data, and we wanna just take the handling, go to 
levels. And this is how, when you do the DLC maker, this is how it would put it together. We can go down and GT, uh, damn, excuse me, y'all. I just woke up middle of the night. But I had thought about this. Um, gonna hit levels, GTA 5, vehicles that metal. I'm gonna grab that up out of the. That's all we need on the metal side is the handling and the uh, vehicles that metal. Now we're gonna go into X64 levels, GTA 5 vehicles, vehicles the RPF, and grab the uh, vehicle. Grab all three of those now. We're gonna go back to DLC packs. Gonna come down and we're gonna delete this. Gone. Finito. Now, <clears throat> if you know of a card that you already have in your DLC pack that works, like you can, as in you can uh upgrade the motor you can change the wheels you know do all that good stuff well then that's what we're gonna use uh let's see all these work i'm just gonna i'm gonna pick uh find one to use uh shit I don't know what to use. I think we're just going to use the camera. We'll grab the camera. Because the camera worked. And we'll take the whole DLC, the RPF, and drop it in the avalanche folder. Wait for that to finish. Transfer. Boom, done. That's through transferring. Now that we got that, we're gonna go click up here to mods. And if you don't have this folder in here, just come down to an empty space and open IV. Or come over here and you wanna right click and go down to new, add folder, and just name it temp and create the folder. You'll have this temp folder that's gonna pop up just like that. This is what I use to mess with files that I'm not finna uh, basically leave in the game until it's done. Then I send it to the right path. So I'm gonna open up the temp folder. Boom. We're gonna open up this avalanche folder. And we're gonna, I'm gonna snap them so they'll be together. Mm. Oh, no, not like that. Maybe this one. Okay, yeah. I don't know why they did that, but oh well. Now we're gonna grab the DLC the RPO. This uh, one that we pulled out the camera because it works. <clears throat> now, once you when you first drop it in, the, if your shit, if your size be somewhat this kind of high, when you go to click straight on it, you're gonna get this arrow. Don't be worried, don't be nervous, or be like, damn, I fucked something up. It just means it's still loading, because there was a lot of information for it to pull. So we're just gonna wait, wait a few few minutes or a minute or two, a few seconds, and now we can open it. We're gonna come back over here to our avalanche, and we're gonna right click, rename, right click, copy now we got the night excuse me we're gonna come back over here to open IV I'm gonna right click edit edit the setup to the XML then we're gonna right click and paste we're gonna replace the name camera with avalanche we ain't doing nothing but taking what already worked and just renaming it 
So now we have something else that works. We're gonna do the same thing with the content XML. No, not view hex. Edit. Right click. Paste. I'm left click holding, highlighting, right click, and pasting. That's all I'm doing. Left click holding, highlight, right click, paste. I'm gonna do this for everything that say camera on it. <clears throat> and if you if you do this and it don't work, go back to the setup x setup two dot xml and come back to the content dot xml because nine times out of ten the some a name not matching up. Like hold on, let me show you. You could of uh, been doing it fast and came in here and I highlight the whole name Camry right click and paste it so now it's say avalanche or whatever and you weren't paying no attention so the game might crash or you might load the load try to load that car and it crash but just need to come back in here and make sure all the names match and are correct to uh, whatever the vehicle name is <clears throat> That's done. Now we're gonna come up here to common data car variation. This is what's gonna make it where we can change things on the vehicle. Gonna change just that name, and that's it. Save. Now we're gonna come over here and grab our handling and just drag and drop it. Let me show y'all first. Camera. I'm gonna come over here, drag and drop this. Boom avalanche now we're gonna go up here to levels gta5 vehicles dot metal camera avalanche and for my uh people in 5m when you can't um little 5m tilt if you have cars that uh, disappear as far as you go, just come down here to LOD distance, uh, the float array shit here. Yeah. And what I do, I just turn all that to 500. So right click, edit, come down. You better see this is all the way down the street. <laughs> I don't think I don't think that should be good, but. If you don't want it to disappear or to be flowing half of the car, only see part of the car, some doze, or can't see the car until you get up on it and now you're gonna hit it, and this is what you need to come mess with. Uh, and the vehicle class, we're gonna call this uh, off underscore road. And we'll type for it, we'll put, I'm gonna put high end. High end. And we're good there. And now we're gonna come up to the top right here and hit DLC.RPL. And we're gonna hit A64, levels, GTA 5, vehicles, vehicles.RPL. And come in here and we're gonna erase this camera up out of here. Bye bye camera. And that's gone. Come back over here to this folder. I'm gonna highlight our avalanche, drag and drop the YFTs and the YTDs in there. And here's our avalanche. And after we do that, shit, we're pretty much done. I'm gonna come back over here though. I'm gonna make a new folder within this folder and I'm gonna name it Avalanche. And then I'm gonna come up here and open IV and push temp. Drag and drop the DLC.RPF in there. Ooh, my OneDrive said I ain't got enough room. Ooh, oh man, I've been on the leading spree today. I, I gotta go get it out of there. 
uh after we done with that you can delete this dlc.rpf um out the temp folder because you don't need that anymore you need to come over here and hit the mods go to update update the rpf common data and come down to dlc list the xml right click edit you only need to come here if like you change the name of this because i could have changed the name of this truck i could have called it space alf i could have called it named it space alf and if i would have did that then i would have needed to come down here and change my YLTs to space alf and the ytd to space alf and then you know go over here and change all the all the shit to say avalanche to space alf but since I left Avalanche, just want to come and make sure it's still in my um, DLC.list.xml, and it is, so I don't have to worry about that or change it. But if it if it wasn't, I named it Space Al, changed the name to Space Al, then I would come down here, left click, hold, right click, copy, put the marker behind it, hit enter, then hit right click and paste. And then I would name name it space L. I would name it space L or whatever. Uh, but since that's in there, I don't need to do that. We don't need to change that. So that's done. We don't need to open our V no more. We can close out of that since it's already in our DLC list. Um, and this one, we don't need none of that no more. All we need is our new DLC, our new add-on. This is our new add-on. We just made us an add-on. So I'm finna come over here, and now you want to find your game directory. Grant the photo five. Once you find that, uh, we'll snap these together again. We'll do the snap. We're going to go to mods, update, x64, and I'm not going to click on DLC pack. I'm going to come over here and grab my add on, hover over there, how it says copy to DLC pack, let it go. And it's best to do this outside the game because you can see everything was happening. You can see what's happening. Avalanche to DLC pack. That's good. <clears throat> now you know it ain't falling into the wrong place. After that's done, we'll can close out of that. Close out of this. Uh, I'm gonna delete this because I know I don't need it for show. Yes, right click, refresh, and empty this motherfucker. I, see, though, I've been doing it all day, clean up. But um, see y'all when we jump back in the game. Alright y'all, alright, we back in the game, back at the damn gas station, and uh, before we before we do this, make sure y'all please, please hit that like button and subscribe button and share man, share me a lot of share, let me show y'all. Oh shit, that whole spine a different color too. Mm. So I guess that's gonna be the new color to spine out to. Depending on whatever DLC you use. Now, let's see, we can upgrade the motor. Now we should be able to do something to the engine. Yup, we can upgrade the engine. The brake, that means this will work in Los Santos and Benny's. The transmission, we can fuck with the horn. Suspension, yeah, everything moving. The armor, we want to be able to change wheels. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, the wheels chain now. Ooh, put some V stamps on that. I I'm gonna put some V stamps on there and see what that look like. Put a turbo on here. Headlights. Now I can't mess with the tent. Cause I put dark tint on it in Z model just cause I didn't know how to do this. 
Nah, I do know how to do this. I don't put tin on them no more. <laughs> I don't put tin on them no more. Uh, bulletproof, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to be able to do. So now this bitch faster. Oh. Oh, man, I'm gonna That's kill that man. Up. Yeah, I'm gonna kill your six ass. Get the fuck on. Play with, uh, play with this little bitch. How's he, bra? He must say, I don't wanna rob him, y'all. Man, this shit from the turn to the whole video, I ain't want it once full to. It make them a little bit bigger. Just bring it out the ground. What that boy uh gang with the shine say? Uh gotta help, gotta put a little pressure on it. <laughs> uh bring it up out the ground. Well, if you enjoyed the video, if you like my content, if this helps you out in any kind of way to figure out how to uh, get cars to work as they should, oh yeah, I knew he was a dope boy, I rob his ass, make sure y'all hit that like, subscribe, and make sure you ring that bell for all notification. We still on this um, on the road to 100 subs, which I'll help. We can make that happen. Oh, he jumping too. We finna, <laughs> I'm finna take his ass out. Glock 18 with the switch on it. Do the bit with no man. Creep up on this nigga. Hell, if y'all want to know about any of the scripts or mods I got in my game, let me know down in the comments. And I got you. Oh, damn, Frank. Yeah, we bust that nigga. It ain't gonna work for nobody. I ain't gotta worry about him running in well, the pocket. Yeah, thanks a lot. Okay, ass bitch. <laughs> hey, man. Y'all game with space and Frank Luke. Man, we out.